So, what's in a name? Well, I guess it depends on who you ask. Pork producers hope new names for some of your old favorites will fuel bigger sales. Our TV6 reporter Tanya Spencer visited a local butcher shop to see what they think. With the name changes, I don't know if they're trying to make them more glorified. Dave Rollins is the third generation owner of Kincaid's Meat Market at 56th in Illinois. He says customers are already talking about the changes coming to a pork counter near you. We've had a number of customers come in and, and ask about it. Uh, they thought it was kind of funny. According to the new labeling suggested by the National Pork Board, the ordinary pork chop will be called the porterhouse chop. There will also be a sirloin chop and a New York chop, and the pork butt will become the Boston roast. Some industry experts hope the new names will make the pork buying process less confusing. Rollins isn't so sure. He already explains each cut of meat to his customers and doesn't plan to rename his products, the products that have had the same name for decades. So same cut, different name. That's all it is. So what do you think of that? Uh, total waste of time. I don't know. <laughs> a different name isn't going to change the quality. It's all pork. I mean, it's, I am not, it doesn't make a difference really to me, but uh, I, we're not going to change our labels on our signs. Although you won't see the label changes at butcher shops like here at Kincaid's, you will see them at your local grocery store starting this summer. Reporting on the north side, Tanya Spencer, RTV6. The pork industry had a bad year last year because of the drought. The drought caused feed prices to skyrocket, but industry officials say they were already planning the name changes before the drought hit.